Hi guys, Anton here today, and I'm going to be showing you a method to get the perfect paradox the fastest way possible. Now, I'm making this well before the actual time lost frame comes out for this, but if you go through and you do the data mine, you can actually see that there is a quest or time lost frame called Perfect Paradox Shotgun Commando. That is for killing 1,000 enemies with shotguns anywhere in the system. Now, that sounds like a lot of numbers, but with my guide, this is going to be the fastest method to get the perfect paradox because if you look at all the other ones in there there's ones like kill 50 strike bosses loot 50 lost sectors uh finish like 250 vex there is so before i go any further the actual saint 14 quest came out today as well as the tower obelisk so i have a bit more information and a little bit more clarity on some of the things so the first thing i want to say is that with a few of the obelisks as well as the season pass and the tower obelisk you actually get percentages off of the time loss frames which is the thing you'll be farming for the perfect paradox now with the time lost friends i believe it is the little medallion thing you can buy from the tower obelisk you get a 10% reduction the EDZ obelisk gives you a 10% reduction the Nessus gives you a 25% reduction Tangled Shore gives you a 10% reduction and the season pass at level 52 gives you a 25% reduction equaling out to 80% now this brings the thousand shotgun kills down to only 200 which is super good because that means you're spending a lot less time in doing this method and as I'll show in a different video, you can knock out a perfect paradox bounty in just four minutes. And half of that is literally just platforming. But anyway, I'm going to get back into the video and please follow along and go check out the other video for the speedrun attempt. Substantial amount of things in there. There's even one for Crucible, which is like 250 kills, which is good if you do Crucible kills, but that's still going to take a fair amount of time. But with my method today, I'm going to show you how to knock this out in about 30 to 40 minutes each frame. And if you're able to get the same Perfect Paradox Shotgun Commando Time Loss Frame Bounty, you can maybe get multiple of these drops if you have the spare Fractal Line to actually roll until you get one of these. As I'm assuming the Time Loss Bounty is going to be a roll and you get a chance at one of these bounties because I believe there is 10 different versions of these. Anyway, so let's get into the guide and I'm going to show you how we're going to be doing this. Okay, so in terms of the actual items you need to do this, I'm going to go over the things that are fundamental and you 100% need, and then I'm going to go over some of the quality of life things. I would recommend doing this on a Titan, although it can be done on every other class. It's just because Titans have Lion Rampits, you can traverse areas easily, and then switch over it to get the abilities and the buffs of the upgrades I'm going to say in just a moment. But the things you 100% need is firstly the Heavy Handed perk, which you get from the Tangled Shore Obelisk. You need an energy armor which has eight slots and is arc because that way you can equip the heavy handed and then one extra arc mod to activate the secondary ability which is called lock and load invigoration is the cheapest at one energy and basically doesn't make you spend all your enhancement prisms on something you might not want to upgrade or something you do not need this will activate the lock and load allowing us to get our shotgun ammo back really easily the next thing we want to have is a tractor cannon purely because it has like that 180 arc fire and it has a very large uh, area of effect so it's very very good when you get swarmed because you will get swarmed by the thrall and then it allows you to basically have a weapon out to allow the auto loading holster to proc and then you can switch back to that so that leads me into my next weapon which is a rapid fire frame shotgun with auto loading holster rapid fire is because the enemies are not powerful at all and are very easy to kill and auto loading holster is a good way of getting all your ammo back without having to reload and get swarmed by enemies. You can get the Basilisk out of your collections if you have it which is a Warmind DLC which comes with extended mag, rifled barrel and auto loading holster. Or you can go into your collections and pull out a Retro first which I believe was the Crucible shotgun which also has uh, auto loading holster but I think it's an aggressive frame and then there's also Boveration's MK28 which you have two in your collections if you've been playing for a long time. Okay so then the quality of life things. So firstly you want to have Hive Armaments. This is very very good with a Titan because with Sunfire Furnace you're not using your super in this and you can get grenade kills and grenade kills on the Taken Thrall still count as Thrall and give you heavy ammo and heavy ammo gives you shotgun, shotgun kills give you the heavy handed lock and load perk which gives you a basilisk ammo because it gives you energy ammo back it's still a shotgun just doesn't give you heavy back meaning 
Uh, grenade equals heavy, heavy equals special, special equals shotgun kills. Easy peasy. And then with Sunfire Furnace, you're going to have a lot of nades regardless of how your discipline stat is. And then the last few things is basically to make yourself a little bit better. The shotguns can be a little bit clunky, so enhanced shotgun dexterity is very, very handy. And then you want to also have shotgun loader. You don't really need targeting, which would give you increased aim down sights, because you do not need to aim down sights with this method that I'm showing you. Other than that, I'm doing it on a Titan. You'll see why I'm using it on a Titan, because I also want you to have a Lion Rampits and then a spare chest piece just to put on so you can equip Lion Rampits, as it makes this method so much easier as you can Titan skate and get through most of this area. And you'll need also, speaking of, Catapult Lift to get you around easier. Now, I'm going to show you the method in just one moment, but that is it so far. So I'm going to recap. What you need is Tractor Cannon, Rapid Fire Auto Loading Holster Shotgun. You want Heavy Handed and an Arc Armor Piece with 8 Energy with Invigoration to get the second perk to activate. Then your secondary quality of life things is Hive Armaments. Then you want Enhanced Shotgun Dex and Loader. And if you want to get real spicy, you can use Double Shotgun Reserves, although you will not need it, but it is very, very handy and I would recommend just having it just in case. So the reason I pulled the Basilisk out of my collections is because it has every single perk on the shotgun that I want for this. It has rifled barrel so I can basically fire from the hip and get that extra range. I have extended mag for extra magazine size, obvious, and then I have auto loading holster. Now you might be thinking, well that's a really shitty perk to have on a shotgun. I'd rather have slide shot or slideways or something else. But for this one particular instance, in the entirety of Destiny, you actually want it. So let me explain it. You're getting swarmed by all the Thrall in this area we're going to next, and you don't have time to reload all these extra bullets. It's going to just take time, and this is an enhanced shotgun loader. That's already a fair amount of time. So you've got Thrall coming at you, you're blasting away, you're hitting everything. You switch to your other weapon. You hear that click, and bang, you got full ammo again. So let's just pretend I'm shooting some stuff. So let's just pretend there's Thrall down here. There's a whole bunch. So we're blasting away. We're using all our ammo. Obviously, you'd be more accurate than this. You switch to your tractor cannon. You push away a bit. Wait for that click. Go back. And you're going to be firing. Easy peasy. Now, you'd be like, whoa, you're going to be using up a lot of ammo here. Now, that's where we go into the next perk. So you might be asking, okay, Anton, you're going to be using a lot of special ammo. And special ammo finder and scavenger doesn't really do that much for me. How are you going to kill a thousand enemies fairly fast with this crappy uh, RNG of ammo bricks? That is because of one of the brand new perks you can get from the Sundial. It's called Heavy Handed, and if you equip it to an Arc Energy uh, piece of armor and you get an additional Arc mod equipped to it, you unlock the Heavy Handed second perk, which is called Lock and Load. Now, basically what this does is when you are surrounded by multiple enemies and you kill an enemy with a shotgun, a fusion rifle, sidearm, or submachine gun, it will add ammo back into the reserves, which is really, really handy, and I'm going to show you how you proc that. Full warning though, this does not work with heavy shotguns. So if we go in here, and we just load up one of these ads. When it's bought in, we'll kill it. We don't get any ammo back. Now if we open up two of these guys, and we go back, you can see that plus one into the ammo slot. Now what this does is, if I open up, say, two of the red bars here, Kill this one, kill this one, switch to my tractor cannon. Wait for that click. Bang, got ammo. And I keep doing this. Now imagine this on the larger scale, and that's what we're going to get into right now. So basically, I'm just going to speed up this beginning part. If you've done this mission before, you already know how to do this. If not, you can basically kind of follow this, although it's a lot of basically just trial and error on platforming as there is a quite a bit of jumping. But with the Hunter, it's probably a little bit easier, but with the Titan, it is the easiest, as I'll show you in just a moment, because as this big gap is in front of us, Lion Rampits and Catapult Jump literally allows us to traverse it easy. And then we get to skip this next part entirely, which is just annoying. 
So as you can see, it is so much faster, clearing up a lot of time, and you're gonna get a lot more of these shotguns, providing you have the fractal line to actually get these uh, bounties. So in terms of the platforming, this is all I'm going to go over. The more you do this mission, the more likely you're going to remember and how to speed this up for yourself. If you've already done it a bunch, you're already way ahead of everyone else. But when you get up to the point and you see what I'm doing, just skip the 12 minutes 44 for my tips and tricks. Other than that, it's literally just me going through and completing this method over and over again uh, with this and killing it until the end of the time limit. Um, but 12 minutes 44, go there. I'm going to go over a few of the tips and tricks to make sure you just get the most efficient progress and help you get your shotguns as fast as possible. Now, if you've skipped to this part of the video, you're probably just after the tips and tricks on how to do this most efficient. Now, what I am doing here is I'm using the tractor cannon as a buffer, allowing me to reload the auto-loading holster by clearing a wave of ads, or if I'm getting swarmed, using the tractor cannon to get rid of them. You can see the fool coming at you from the distance, so it is pretty easy to gauge when you're gonna get swarmed over and when you'll run out of ammo in your auto-loading rifle. Now, what you want to do is use a tractor cannon for hopefully only one shot. This should hopefully give you your auto-loading holster back, but two shells spaced out will definitely give that time to reload. So basically, all you're doing is firing one to two tractor cannon shells, then switching back to your shotgun, firing out all eight that I have in the basilisk, then switching back to the tractor cannon to fire another two and repeat until you're almost out of heavy. When you are almost out of heavy, you want to chuck a grenade down to get the hive armaments to proc, giving you more tractor cannon ammo, allowing you to reload, and then repeat the process, reloading more energy ammo into your shotgun, getting you more kills until the end of the timer. That is all I'm doing. Very, very simple and can be done on any class. But if you do want to skip to the very end of the video or just keep watching me absolutely do Doom Simulator right here, uh, I'll show you how many kills I got in the time limit and just how much more you can probably get if you went even faster than me.
Okay, so as we're about to finish the mission, I'm going to cheat and tell you how many kills I got, but I'm also going to show you. So on the Basilisk, I got 423, and on the Tractor Cannon, I got 390, giving us a grand total of 813 shotgun kills. Now, the Shotgun Commando is for 1,000 kills, but if you have all of the Obelisk upgrades or even partial amounts, you can get up to 80% of that reduced, meaning you only need 200 kills, meaning you're going to knock this out in about 4 minutes as I'll show in the other video, but I hope you've enjoyed this video guys, please share it around because it does help me and this is original content and I am really proud of this and I hope it will get like movie of the week or something or just maybe even some likes.